Imagine a mountain, not just any mountain but the tallest freestanding mountain in the world, Mount Kilimanjaro. This majestic peak, nestled in the heart of Tanzania, rises in solitary grandeur from the surrounding savanna. Its crowning glory, a cap of snow and ice, glistens against the backdrop of an impossibly clear blue sky, a sight that has captivated explorers and adventurers for centuries. At the foot of this giant, a lush green world thrives. Rich forests, filled with the music of chirping birds and rustling leaves, cloak its base, creating a haven for a diverse array of wildlife. From playful monkeys to grazing antelopes, the mountain is a sanctuary teeming with life, a testament to the beauty and resilience of nature. Witness the awe-inspiring spectacle of sunlight dancing on the snow-clad peak, illuminating the mountain in a breathtaking display of light and shadow. Welcome to the journey of a lifetime, the ascent of Mount Kilimanjaro. The journey begins at the base, where the air is thick with anticipation. This is where dreams start to take shape, where the thrill of adventure first begins to pulse through your veins. It's a flurry of activity as you prepare, double-checking equipment, tightening bootlaces, and adjusting backpack straps. But it's not just about physical preparedness. It's also about mental readiness about quieting the apprehension and stoking the excitement. The first steps are taken with a sense of awe, venturing into the lush rainforest that surrounds the base. The canopy above is a verdant ceiling, filtering the sunlight into a dappled dance on the forest floor. Every sound, every sight, every scent is a reminder of the untamed beauty that awaits on the journey ahead. This is not just a climb, it's a journey of self-discovery, a testament to human resilience, a dance with nature in its rawest form, with every step forward, the adventure intensifies. As the dense rainforest gives way to moorland, the climb truly begins. The landscape changes as you ascend higher and higher. The lush greenery of the rainforest gradually fades into the distance, replaced by the stark beauty of the moorland. The terrain becomes steeper, the paths more challenging and the air thinner. Yet the climb isn't just a physical journey, it's an emotional one too. As you navigate through the rugged terrain, you're also navigating through your own limits. Every step you take is a step out of your comfort zone, challenging your stamina, your endurance, and your determination. It's a test of will, perseverance, and resilience. And you're not alone. Around you, climbers from all walks of life are on the same journey. The camaraderie among climbers is palpable. There's a shared understanding, a mutual respect. Everyone knows what it takes to be here. You share stories, lend a helping hand, and encourage each other to keep going. The climb transforms strangers into friends united by a common goal. The challenges are real but so are the rewards. As the altitude increases, so does the majesty of the views. The world unfolds beneath you in a breathtaking panorama of sweeping valleys, shimmering lakes, and distant peaks. Every step, every breath, every bead of sweat is worth it for these moments. The beauty of the landscape is humbling. It's a reminder of our place in the grand scheme of things. And with every step you take, you're a little closer to the summit. Every height conquered is a victory, a testament to your strength and determination. The summit might still be a distance away, but it's within reach. You can see it, you can feel it, it's a beacon calling you higher and higher. So you keep climbing, you keep pushing, you keep reaching for that peak. Because you know that the journey is more than just a climb, it's a transformation. It's about discovering what you're truly capable of, about reaching heights you never thought possible. With every height conquered, the summit seems a little closer. The final ascent, a test of will and endurance, unfolds under the starlit sky. As the last vestiges of sleep fade away, a sense of anticipation fills the air. The final ascent, the culmination of days of strenuous climbing, is about to begin. The path upwards is steep and unyielding, a silent sentinel against the backdrop of a thousand twinkling stars. The cold is biting, relentless. It seeps through layers of clothing, seeking out warmth and stealing it away. But even as the chill gnaws at fingers and toes, it's the thinning air that presents the real challenge. Each breath becomes a battle, a fight for oxygen, a struggle against the invisible force that seems to push back with every step taken. Yet there's a certain beauty to it all. The tranquil silence of the night broken only by the crunch of boots against the frozen earth and the measured rhythm of breathing. The sight of the star-strewn sky, a dazzling canvas of light against the inky blackness. And the knowledge that with each step, the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro draws nearer. The struggle is real, but so is the determination. 
the resolve to keep going, to push past the fatigue, the cold, the thinning air, each step becomes a testament to the human spirit, the innate desire to conquer, to achieve, to stand at the top of the world and say, I did it. And then, as the night begins to give way to dawn, the first hints of light appear on the horizon. The stars start to fade, their brilliance dimmed by the approaching day. The sky shifts from deep indigo to shades of pink and gold, painting a picture that words could never truly capture. And there it is, the summit, the highest point in Africa, the roof of the continent, the struggle, the hardship, the journey, it all leads to this moment. As the first rays of the sun spill over the horizon, bathing the world in a warm golden glow, it becomes clear. The sight of the sun rising over the horizon makes the struggle worthwhile. At the summit, the world lies at your feet. Here atop Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest peak in Africa, you've made it to the roof of the continent. The feeling is indescribable, an intoxicating blend of triumph, exhilaration, and awe. As the sun rises, casting the world in a soft, warm glow, you are one with the heavens. The sky, a canvas of deep blues and purples, stretches out in all directions. The clouds once above now lie beneath you, a shifting, ethereal sea. The air, though thin, is crisp and clean, invigorating your senses. The view from the summit is breathtaking. You see the world from a perspective few have had the privilege to experience. Far below, the vast African plains stretch out, a patchwork of green and gold. The sight is awe-inspiring, a testament to the majesty of the natural world. The sense of accomplishment is profound. You've conquered not just a mountain, but your own doubts and fears. Each step, each breath, each heartbeat has brought you to this moment. You've pushed past your limits, challenged your own beliefs about what you're capable of, and emerged victorious. The emotions that well up are overwhelming. There's a sense of peace, of satisfaction, of fulfillment. You've done it. You've reached the summit. The journey has been hard, yes, but oh so worth it. The memories you've made, the friendships you've forged, the challenges you've overcome, these are the true treasures you'll carry with you long after you've descended from this lofty peak. And then, as you stand there on the roof of Africa, you realize something profound. This isn't just a mountain, it's a journey of self-discovery. It's a testament to the human spirit, to our innate desire to explore, to achieve, to conquer. It's a reminder that we are all capable of greatness, if only we dare to reach for it. On the roof of Africa you realize it's not just a mountain, it's a journey of self-discovery. The descent, though physically less challenging, is an introspective journey. As we wave goodbye to the summit, the exhilarating rush of achievement still pulsates within us. We begin our journey back down, retracing the steps that led us to the top of this majestic mountain. Every step taken is a reminder of the challenges faced, the perseverance shown, and the victories earned. We are not the same people who started this journey. We've grown stronger, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally too. The descent serves as a time to reflect on the journey, a journey that has been about so much more than just reaching the summit. As we navigate the familiar yet different paths, we find ourselves contemplating the transformation we've undergone. Each obstacle overcome, each difficulty faced, has revealed a strength within us we never knew existed. We've discovered the power of resilience, the beauty of endurance, and the joy of conquering. There's a certain serenity that descends upon us as we make our way down. It's a quiet celebration, a silent acknowledgement of the tremendous feat we've accomplished. It's a moment of understanding, a realization that the mountain was not just a geographical feature to be conquered, but a metaphorical one too. The descent is the time to let it all sink in, to understand the magnitude of what we've achieved. It's a time to celebrate not just the accomplishment, but the journey, the experience, the growth. As we near the base, the end of this adventure is in sight. But this is not the end, not really. For we take with us more than just memories of the climb. We carry with us the lessons learned, the strength discovered, and the resilience built. The descent is not just about coming down from the mountain, it's about coming down with a new understanding of ourselves, a new appreciation for our capabilities. It's about realizing that we are capable of so much more than we ever thought possible. As the journey ends, you leave with more than just memories. You leave with a piece of Kilimanjaro etched in your soul. The descent is the conclusion of the journey, but it's just the beginning of what's to come.